Hey, what's up, baby? This is Skull Mystic. Welcome back to another beautiful, wonderful, and fabulous pet training, Baby Tomega. As you can see, I am in an extraordinarily good mood today, as one should be when there's a new pet to train. It is a crown shop pet, and the only, only downer about it is, here, here's the pet, by the way, the Baby Panther Pet. The only downer about it is it's a little bit pricey at 9,500 crowns. So I would suggest that right away you find somebody who bought one and makes your little heart out because, wow, that, that costs. But just for you guys, I'm going to go ahead and buy this bad boy and we're going to train him to Mega. We're going to see if he is worth his lack of stripes. Let me get him now. We're going to give him a random name to see what he gets. Princess Lucy. That's beautiful. I like Princess Lucy. Burn the crowns, and we have our pet. I will be back in one minute after this pet hatches, because I imagine he has about a five-minute timer. So give me one moment, and I will be right back with it. And here I am back once again with the long-awaited Princess Lucy. Princess Lucy is an onyx egg and gives... Let's go to that pet. Gives a black cat at teen. Has... Three, five ultra rares and two epics, which could go either way, but also does have high, high stats. Everything 200 and above. That is a good, good start for a little pet. All right, for race, a couple of ultra rares, not so bad, but mostly rares and an uncommon. Now that's to be expected. Most of the time, these pets aren't really, really super high on race. All right, so there we go with Princess Lucy. I'm going to go ahead and get over here and train her to teen. And I will be right back with the information that you most desire. And I am back with Princess Lucy's teen level. They must have gone to 5,000 houses in America and taped everybody's cats because they, they had the ticked off kitty sound bite down just about pat. Listen to this little booger whenever you shoot out a cannon. Let me get lined up here. Right about there. And I'm down. Meow. <laughs> you said mad. That sounds like every kitty I've ever heard right there. All right, let's see what we get for our talent. As soon as the long taking scorer does its long taking. And I will think just, just for the sake of this one, I'm going to give it fancy yoga to make sure I pass all the line. Death Sniper. So I got Death Accuracy to start with, which is to be expected. I also got one of the Ultra Rares, Catch, Lock Lane Eater, 6 seconds, 55 second cooldown. All right, that is Lucy's Teen. Not so bad. I would like to snag those epics to see what they are. We'll see if I get them, though. All right, I will be right back with Princess Lucy's Adult Level. One moment. And back again. Princess Lucy is ready to be an adult kitty cat, and I am ready to train her up. While I was training this pet, I was thinking about something I may or may not have put in a Through the Grapevine video earlier on. I would like to see some way in which we can display our pets while we're on our mounts. You know, for those, for those people who are all, all into the match set thing and whatnot like that, I'm not sure if I put that in a Through the Grapevine before or if I, if I haven't. If I haven't, I should have, but I'm officially announcing it now. That's, that's a Through the Grapevine <laughs> subject. There we go. I would like to see us be able to display our pets with our mounts for those mounts and pets that happen to match, just like the little panther pet and the black panther mount go together. Let's see. One, two. Taking a minute to concentrate on where I'm shooting at so I don't miss. Have to do this over again. But yeah, I think it would be a great idea having our pets and our mounts displayable at the same time if you choose to. Go. Pain giver, not bad. This is looking to be a good little pet. Look at that. Wow. And hurry, plus 30 speed to self, 30 second cooldown. I like this. I, anytime a pet gets pain giver, that's a first gen pet, I vote for it. I love it. That's awesome. Now if it pulls up like, if it pulls up one of the, one of the death damages, I'll, I'll be in heaven. All right, guys, I will be right back with Princess Lizzie's next level in just a moment. And I am back, and Princess Lucy is about to become an ancient kitty. So far, with pretty decent talents. The accuracy thing, 
Eh, uh, not so much. I mean, it's great for a beginning level player as always. And I think it really, being as they have geared these pets, these first gen pets to be for beginning level players, it's not so bad. But it, hey, it redeemed itself with pain giver and that you can't go wrong with a good hard pain giver in the middle of a talent pool. Not at all. All right, so let me go one more block here. Oh, it seems to be that one pesky block that doesn't want to go down. There we go. I'll throw my cat at it. I think we'd be in trouble in the real world if we were treating our pets the way these guys get treated in Wizard 101. Let's see, there we go. And down. And as time goes on in the training, I will get a little bit more tired of doing it. That part where you get up there and you're training for Mega, whew, that's a long stretch. All right, let's see what we're going to do here. We will... We'll use that because it's going to train up some stats that I need to train up. There we go. Sp Woo ha! Spellproof. Spellproof and pain giver. This pet is kicking it. Wow. Plus lock lane. Next pet ahead, six seconds. Plus it's got an ancient socket. Spellproof and pain giver on this pet. Booyah! Touchdown. Woo. All right. Uh, I'm. <laughs> I was enthusiastic before, but I'm really getting there now. All right, I will be back. I can't wait to train this pet. I will be back with Princess Lucy's epic level in just a moment. And I am back once again with Princess Lucy's epic level. I have to tell you all, right now, fair warning, if this pet gets Death Dealer as its next talent, there's going to have to be a moment where I find some good, loud music Get my butt up out of this chair and bust out some twerking. I'll tell you right now. And it's a good thing there's no face cam on this thing. Because, well, I don't want to blind most of my fan base or have them gouge their eyes out. Because I got a good pet talent. Let's see what we end up with here. I'm worried now. That would be quite the disaster. Trust me, you do not want to see that ever, ever, ever. And get down there with this. But this pet has just been freaking killing it with these pet talents. I think the only other pet that I've had that was half this good was the Party Corgi way back when. You just, wow, spell proof and pain giver on a first gen pet. Jeez. All right, let's see. If it's Death Dealer, oh, oh, oh no. Come on, Death Dealer. I, I'm both wanting it and not wanting it at the same time. Let's see what we get. Oh, okay, the pressure's on. And we get a... Sorry, I had to give y'all a moment of anticipation there. Oh, no! no. Oh, Lord, have mercy on me. Look at this pet. Oh, man. Okay, okay. Excuse me for one moment. Okay, that was the quietest twerk ever. Jeez, look at this pet. Holy moly. All right. Wow. Okay, I will be right back with Princess Lucy. Princess Lucy, Queen Lucy. Wow. With Princess Lucy's mega level just in a moment. This is killing me. Wow. Right back. And I am back for the final training of Princess Lucy, who might very well be the best first-gen pet I've ever trained. I have to admit that ordinarily training a pet from nothing all the way up to max, if you do it all at once, gets a little bit tedious. But I, wow, I'm looking forward to this. I can't believe this pet. I think that King's Isle finally listened to my cries about, hey, make a first, decent first-gen pet, because... Other than the party corgi, I don't think I've ever seen a better one. And if this pet gets another useful and relevant talent, I, I don't know what I'm going to do. If it had gotten a block or a critical at first there instead of that accuracy, this would be hands down the best pet ever. Let's see what we get. And I'm really, come on, come on, you can do it. Come on, Lucy, bust it out. Stun block. <laughs> Wow, that's, that's not the best, but it's still pretty freaking good. It's not like I got mana or... Wow, this pet is freaking awesome. 
Okay, guys, there it is. Princess Lucy. The best pet ever. I have to say it. The best pet ever. Wow. All right, guys. <laughs> Let me go through the stats. It's kind of stunning. It's amazing. I got stun block. I got accuracy, which is all right. I got pain giver. Spell proof. And death dealer. I'll bet there's a death boon in there somewhere. I'll bet that there is. That's just wow. And probably there's probably a crit in there too, come think of it. For race, she got catch, lock, mega boost, immunity, and hurry. And as always, I trained up all the stats to the best they can be. Strength 240. Jeez. Uh, <laughs> agility 250. Look at this pet. Power 200. There's nothing not to like about this. I can't believe this thing. All right, guys, there is. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button, a good hard smash, because it's going to help me and Lucy out. And as well, share this video, because everybody needs to know about this pet. Guys, until next time, this is Skelemosic reminding you that whatever else you do, always love the game. Peace! Hey, what's up, guys? It's Mystic. Welcome back to another edition of Through the Grapevine, where we talk about news, tips, tricks, rumors, and all things wizard. In this video, we're going to be covering some pets, we're going to be covering some gameplay ideas, and there's a few actually different tips from the norm that I want to cover with you guys. All right.